Lauren Feldman, laurenfeldman.substack.com. Welcome to Monday Matters. I want to talk about Merrick Garland. Does that guy actually do anything? Seriously, does he? I don't understand what's going on. Takes him two years to investigate Trump. Nothing's come of it. Takes him 10 minutes to investigate Biden. Seriously, what is going on with that guy? Everybody said, oh, be patient, be patient. He's methodical, he's smart, he's methodical, he's smart. He's slow and seemingly doing nothing. Nothing's happening. I don't think Trump's going to be prosecuted for anything. The only one who goes after Trump successfully is that Letitia James. And she goes after him for bullshit that doesn't matter, but at least she's doing something and winning. It's unbelievable. And... All of the people, the January 6th people, Gates and uh, Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert, they're all running around Congress running the show. They should have been in jail a long time ago. Long time ago. And just nothing. Nothing. I don't understand it. And now we have the talented Mr. Santos. I'm embarrassed to be from Long Island. I mean, this guy is an utter and complete sociopath and... He's going to be on committees. He's not going to be thrown out of Congress. I mean, it's unbelievable. It really is. It's unbelievable. I don't understand how any of this shit works. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Lunatics running the asylum. There's nothing we can do about it. Attorney General of the United States, completely useless, neutered, doing nothing, getting some proud boys. Okay, good. But what about the big fish? It's really just unbelievable. It really is. It doesn't matter. Kanye. Kanye's back in the news. He got married to a woman. I don't know why he keeps marrying women. So the rumor out here in Hollywood is that he's gay. He hangs around with gay guys, that Milo is gay, this Nick Fuentes is gay. Everybody's gay around Kanye, and he's busy marrying women. So bizarre. I got to hand it to those Jews, though. They really ruined him. We just ruined him. That guy is irrelevant. You never hear from him about anything, even with this marriage thing. It's like a blip on the radar. Just bizarre. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. It doesn't matter. Brendan Fraser. I haven't seen The Well yet. I'm dying to. I might wait until it comes out on video on demand, but I love this guy. So you know his story, right? He's a big actor. Then at the Golden Globes, the producer, head of the Golden Globes organization, grabbed him, groped him, and it really freaked him out. He went public. And then what did Hollywood do? They blackballed him. During those years that he was persona non grata, he had health issues as well just doing his thing, and then the wonderful Darren Aronofsky cast him in The Whale, and he just won the award at the Critics Circle Award, Critics' Choice Award, whatever, the critics. They gave him Best Actor. He got up, he gave a speech, I was crying. He's such an earnest, nice man, it seems. Really, earnest and nice. And that's such a quality that we need in this disgusting world of ours. And so rare from a regular person, let alone a movie star. He was hysterical crying. He was so happy and so grateful and so thankful and gave such a beautiful speech. I know he's been getting heat for playing a fat guy in a fat suit. I don't care. I really don't care. He's an actor. And his speech just was so beautiful. I'm going to post it later in the week in the... Uh, the email I send out with interesting stories, I'll post the video, but really just so wonderful to see. It doesn't matter. That's it. I just checked my notes. I don't have anything else to say. Want to talk about Elon again? No. Want to talk about Trump again? Already did. Want to talk about AI again? I guess I could. Don't care. That AI is going to take over the world, though. In any case, I'm Lauren Feldman. It doesn't matter. And thanks for watching.